You know, it's funny, we talk about these things as accidents, but obviously so much training, hard work, talent. Um, you know, I've been thinking about your career, um, how your mother uh, was a very famous uh, actress, activist, mm -hmm. and you came from a long line in Spain of actors. And some people say, well, it's in, it's, uh, maybe it sounds like a cliche to say it's in your blood, but it must be in your blood. Yeah. This, this desire to do it and do it correctly. Absolutely. And you were very interested in art as a, as a child. Mm -hmm. You were entertained, I mean, were you not educated as uh, to sort of to be an artist in some way? Well, I, I guess I was born into it. <laughs> and uh, I saw my mom and my uncle was a director. My, my mom was an actress. My grandparents were actors. So everybody was working in the thing. And, but I saw the, I saw more the downs than the ups. Yeah. Uh, there was a lot of unemployment. There was a lot of struggle in trying to make some money. Mm -hmm. But I also saw that this, the decency, the honesty that the job will bring to them and, and what they will bring to their job and how much passionate they were about uh, about their craft. Yeah. And, and the respect they have for not only the job, but also the people that is in the job and makes the job with them. So I liked that very much. I, I felt that was a nice way to, to go. And uh, and once I decided to become an actor, I knew that I have to really be responsible for the surname Bardem that belongs to many generations. And that's why I always try to uh, do my best as everybody. I mean, yeah, but I, I mean, it's, I, but you know, we we live in this uh, culture now where people want to be famous. Mm. And they're very interested in being famous. And over the years, I've had people that are interested in doing comedy that say, you know, I want to do what you're doing. I want to be famous. And I think mm. it's not the reason to do it. Uh, being famous just means you take selfies at a restaurant. Um, there isn't that much. There's not a lot to it. It's a, it's a pretty thin soup. There's not a lot of sustenance to it. You really have to love what you're doing. Yeah. And uh, I think that's important for people to know that I mean, you were thinking, you, you never thought to yourself, I'll make movies internationally or I'll make no. movies in the United States. You you thought uh, I might, or I've read anyway, that you thought this might be, I might just work in my whole life in Spain Absolutely. as an actor and yeah. that would be fine. And not only that, I, I thought I, I, may be, I may not be able to make a living out of this, but I don't know what to do else. I don't know what else to do. I mean, I'm not. I'm very clumsy. I don't know. I don't know anything. <laughs> I, 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 you know what? Many of the actors I know and actresses are very like me. Like they only know how to perform. They don't know to do anything else, and that's fine. If you know at least to do one thing in your life, and you are lucky enough to make a living out of that, you are blessed. And I guess I bet on that. And I bet on that. And I've always seen my steps like uh, as you were saying with Silva in the sky for like little steps like mm -hmm. I never imagined or thought of myself going to anything big or mm, achieving this or that it's like what if I make this job and I and it's good enough for them to call me again and that's still what I think of when I make a, a movie or I make something is like okay is that really bad is that bad enough for them not to call me or, <laughs> yeah. or can I keep on going? And, and, and that's something that I guess I got from my family because everybody was waiting for the phone to ring. And I guess I have that fear still, like uh, it's not going to ring anymore. But uh, that's fine because that gives me the drive. The, yeah, the nerve and the drive. Yeah. I mean, did you ever think to yourself, how do I make this jump or did they come to you? Were you recognized and people said, okay, we have to get Javier Bardem and that's how it, how it happened? No, I, 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 it's funny. It's, 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 it's one accident after the other. I mean, my two biggest movies that really opened the market to me in Spain and out of Spain were accidental. One, the one Jamon Jamon. Mm -hmm. uh, I was accompanying my sister to make an audition, and I was sitting down near near her. And then they asked me, "Do you want to come in and do an audition?" I said, "No, I don't want to." Yeah, come in. Okay. And they gave me the job. Oh and, 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 and before Night Falls... Wasn't the part your sister wanted, I hope. <laughs> Put on this wig. Yeah. Same with the Bond another, villain. Another wig. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> your sister was this close to being Silva. And then you had to go to the audition with her. 
<laughs> and the other one before Night Falls with Julian Snabel, I met him in right. a party in New York, and he said, "You, would you like to make a movie in English?" And, and he's like, "No, I, I don't want it. I don't speak English." I said, "Well, why don't you try read this?" And and I was going to play this little role, and I said, "Okay, I'll try to. I'll, I'll play that as a as an experiment." But then the person who was going to play the lead fell apart from the project, and he told me. Will you do it? No, I don't. I don't want to do it. Yeah, you are doing it. You have a month. I said, oh, fuck. Okay, I'll try. And then I did it, but I, ne I never expected that anybody would watch that movie. Yeah. And it happened that I was nominated for an Oscar for it, which is weird because I thought nobody's going to watch it. Who cares? I'm just going to see if I can play in English. So I... <laughs> And, and, but don't you and think all that, the movies that I thought this is a masterpiece? Yeah, they were like buried. That happens. <laughs> that happens again and again and again in this business. It's Absolutely. never the thing you think. Absolutely. You think, okay, this is it, and it's not. And sometimes I, I try and encourage people because there have been times in my life where the thing that I thought was going to really make me early on when I was younger didn't happen, and then I could see later on. If that thing had happened, right. the thing I was meant to do wouldn't have happened. It's Absolutely. all gets very mystical, but I believe in it. Absolutely. I believe there's something You're to right. it. You Absolutely. should try podcasting in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> es importante que nosotros. Uh, uh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> you are a graduate of uh, Madrid's uh, Escuela de Artes uh, y... Uh, Oficios. Oficios, sí. Yes. Pero, uh, Eduardo. Uh, I, I, take it, I take it back. But don't cut to Eduardo. Uh, Eduardo. Uh, don't say it. Habla, habla, habla. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I just about ran out. Um, <laughs> just ask Eduardo. Uh, Eduardo. I just have to keep saying Eduardo to fill it out. Uh, Eduardo. <laughs> I think the word is ayúdame. Ayúdame, por favor. Sí, claro, claro. Claro que sí, sí. 